Oh, did it do the three, two, one? Yeah. Oh, good. All right, we're ready to go. So, guys, we're sort of getting to the tail end of chapter fourteen, uh, but let's uh, let's dig in. Um, so, guys, uh, what questions do you have? Remembering that these questions are all about writing rate laws. So, guys, what questions do you have about these questions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you get to... I'm not calling you out, but did you get to watch the screencast? Okay. So, in the screencast, Cade, we talked about the idea that, that um, the units for K change. Um, they, they depend upon um, the reaction order of the overall reaction, which is basically the number of things that act as reactants. And so, specifically... On uh, number 27, it says we've got a reaction that is zero order in A, second order in B, and second order overall. So the rate law would look like this. We'd have K, and it's zero order in A, which means A doesn't get included. Um, but then it's second order in B like so. Okay, so then solving this generically for K, um, and I'm going to work down. So rate is given in the units of molarity per second, okay, and then that's equal to K, but then that is times molarity squared. Um, the brackets mean molarity, that's molarity, that's squared. So in order to solve this for K, we're going to divide by molarity. So I'll just put it here. And we divide by molarity squared, and we end up with this. But one of these molarities cancels, which means our units for molarity are actually 1 over molarity and then seconds. But we can rewrite that and call it molarity to the negative 1, seconds to the negative 1, and that would be this. Okay, so that's, but understand that as, when you're solving for K, um, you always have to put units on it um, because they do change depending upon the, uh, the order of the reaction. Is that okay? Um, guys, what else do you need to talk about? You guys really, oh yeah. <coughs> Sorry, you too. Which B? 35. 30, yeah. Uh, you know. Yep, that. Yeah, yeah, so let's talk about it. So this is the rate law for the reaction, okay? And um, we understand that exponents are the reaction orders, first order, second order, third order. So this is first order in NH3. This is first order in BF3. The, the ones are understood to be there. And so to get the overall reaction order, you just add them up. So one plus one is two. Well, yeah, so like for example, um, the one that we looked at just right here. Um, so this, um, this one is, z well, here, I can do this. Yeah, so this one was, and I'll just write it in. So this was zero order, zero order in A, second order in B. And so the zero order A means that that goes away. That's equal to one. And that just leaves us with B being second order. Um, so two plus zero is second order overall. So we would say that this is zero order in A, second order in B, and second order overall. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. No, you don't include it. You drop it out. Yeah, don't in, don't include it. Don't. Yeah, it, it it makes you look like you're guessing. Yeah, don't do it. No. You guys good there? Other questions? Are we really okay? Okay. Not pretty straightforward, right? Okay. So guys, let me clear this. Let me jump over here. Um, let me escape out of this, quit out of this.